Yo, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be revisiting Call of Duty Black Ops 1. I am very, very excited for this video because Black Ops 1, by far, by far, one of my favorites of the classic Call of Duty. It's probably one of my favorites of any Call of Duty as well for a number of reasons, mainly in regards to the multiplayer campaign's pretty incredible as well. Zombies obviously was very classic for its time. I don't think it held up as well as it some of the newer zombies in my opinion, but still some really great stuff there. What is this guy doing back here? Unfortunately, we're starting off on probably one of the worst maps in the game. I would argue it is the worst map in the game, which again is kind of unfortunate, but we can't choose what maps we're going to get, so it is what it is. Get my Claymore, yes! I knew that guy was going to get into my Claymore. I can't find a single person. Which leads me to believe that they're probably camping. Yep. But the question is, where are they camping? Got this dude. I have no idea where they're going to be coming from. I'm going to assume over here. Nice, we got a attack helicopter. I'm just going to place it wherever. I have no idea where these guys are. Nice. Nice, then we can actually see where they're at. Perfect. Commando red dot, let's take this. This dude literally sitting back there. What are you doing, bud? We got dogs, not- we we're running- I thought we were running attack, or the gunship, but I guess we're running dogs. So we got our dog streaks already, first game on, we're 12 and 2 right now. That Blackbird is huge, man, the Blackbird is awesome. I do think that is one of the issues I had with this game, is of course the fact that we have kill streaks instead of score streaks, but you can't really blame the game for that. I mean, the game came out in 2010, that's before they ever even came up with the idea to go with score streaks instead. So it's hard to put much blame on the game, and it's not as big of a deal as I find it is in Modern Warfare 2. Because Modern Warfare 2 has like some really overpowered, high-tiered killstreaks. Killstreaks are good in this one, but they're not as good as Modern Warfare 2's can be. So people aren't really camping for them as much. They still do though, like they are in this game. Actually, these guys aren't really even camping for streaks. They're kind of just camping in general for no reason. There's only one guy on the other team that has more than 10 kills. Actually, he's, there's only one guy on the other team that has more than 5 kills. Everyone else is 4 below. Got him. This game's already about to end. 24 and 5. That's a pretty solid start, I gotta say. We already got the dogs. We'll definitely change up our streaks game to game. We're not gonna use the same ones. Probably use Blackbird every game, though, because Blackbird is just amazing. But we'll change up the streaks for, for the other games, though. Nice. 25 and 5. With a little 5 KD ratio there. That was a good first game. Good first game. All right, we got a game going on Hanoi now, which this is a map I'm very surprised has not been remade. Which is actually an interesting conversation to have now because Cold War Season 5 is coming real soon. And they have recently announced that Zoo and Drive-In are going to be the two remade maps for that season. Or, well, also Slums. Uh, but Zoo and Drive-In, they're both DLC, which is interesting. So, because they're DLC, not a lot of people probably have played them out of the whole community, which makes sense for why they're returning them then, because they're going to feel like new maps to a lot of people. Like, I've played Zoo and Drive-In, but I really haven't played them that many times, other than back in 2010 when the game was first out. But as of recently, yeah, like I haven't played those maps in a minute, because you don't really get DLC maps anymore when you're trying to... Or at least you don't normally get them. We're using the 74U. Get to cover, get to cover. Which is a great submachine gun with submachine gun within this game, I gotta say. Is there a guy behind that car? I saw a red dot out there. Is there Buddy! Buddy, what are you doing? Oh 
What is this guy doing? Wait, he didn't know. He was just sitting there. I don't know. There's some weird newbie players that just play, man. They just, they just don't know what they're doing. It's hilarious. I assume that's what like easy skill-based matchmaking lobbies feel like for like all the players. Oh shit. Run, Forest. Nice. Oh shit! Nice! Dude, we are... Absol... No! Watch this, watch this. And this grenade launcher is pretty shitty too. It's not like it's that good. <laughs> well, we got the uh, chopper gunner, which is pretty pretty fun, I gotta say. I'm we're doing pretty good today so far, man. I got I gotta say, it's a pretty good start. Hopefully, we can actually kill people out here. No, stop it! Who's shooting me down? I cannot see you. Because you guys are running ghost or something. Was that the guy trying to shoot me down? I hope. Surprised people use launchers in this game. I think I've literally never seen someone use a launcher before. Nice. That was awesome. Now we got Mortar Team 2, which I don't really... I don't really know how this works. So let's just drop stuff down see what happens. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used the Mortar Team, to be honest. I got one kill with it. Not bad. I would love to use this M16 real quick. This game, one of the things I love about it, has some of the best... Assault rifles in COD history. Like, by far some of the best assault rifles. Now, the issue is, the rest of the guns, the rest of the classes, kinda suck. That's where the issues lie. I really, really like the ARs, but... Yeah, they just don't have good other guns, really. I mean, there's some guns in other classes that are good, sure, but... Oh, come on, peek your head, bitch. Kind of camping for a minute here, because I'm trying to get a good sight of the map. The sentry gun out there, so I can't go out that way. Whoa! Whoa! Might as well just call this in. Bitch! <laughs> he thought. He really thought. Oh, uh, of course they use a counter UAV. And we got another chopper. I don't know if I can call it. I think I can call him while there's a counter UAV, right? Not an EMP. So we just got two chopper gunners for one game. I mean, I'm giving that one guy some... Free, what is it? I guess there's no camo challenges in this game, but <laughs> I was gonna say he's getting his launcher challenges done. I'm like, wait, 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 wait a minute. That they don't have that. I mean, I'm sure there might be like other challenges for like other stuff. Stop it. Oh, you're a bitch. We got a lot of kills with it though. It's all right. Basically, have half our team's points, which is nice. I want to get him with the pistols. Yes. That's right, prick. Oh. I'm gonna take this RPK. And that's it. 41 and 3. We're, we're, we're feasting today, folks. We're feasting today. That's just how it is. I thought it'd be a good game to pull out the old commando. We're gonna play on Havana here, which has been remade in Black Ops 4. Not a lot of people know that, because not a lot of people play Black Ops 4's DLC, unfortunately. But... It was one of the coolest remakes that they brought back in BO4, honestly, because it's a map that I like. 
I don't love, but I like. Come on, Clay Claymore. Come on. Can I not, can I not destroy the Claymore? Or, like, what? We're using this glorious commando here, but I can't destroy a Claymore. Unless it's just a visual glitch, but I do not trust the visual glitch, so I'm not going to run there and possibly get myself killed. Oh, there's a guy right around here. Can't really get a shot on him, though. I ran Spy Plane this game. Oof! Good thing I got Flak Jacket, man. That guy just ran in guns a-blazing. <laughs> Not giving a shit what he shoots. Nice. Alright, we gotta switch over because we're almost out of ammo. Oh, this gun's almost out of ammo too. No! Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice, nice. Let's go around here. Let's go! Got the gunship. Grenade! Get me out of here, get me out of here. Where do- Oh, he had a line of sight on me there. Oof. I did not see that. Alright, whatever. We got the gunship, which I don't even know if I like this more than the chopper gunner or not. They're very similar. But this one, uh, it costs like two more kills, so it's a little harder to get. You can control it a lot better, though, that's for sure. Definitely a lot harder to shoot down as well. But I'm not really good with it, apparently. No, 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 no. Block the shit out of that shot, I think. Do I got flares or no? No! You prick. No! I'm going down! No! Got like, what? Six kills? Seven kills with that? I don't know. Better than nothing, I guess. Whoa! Okay. Fair enough. We haven't gotten any, like, the, the classic Black Ops 1 maps yet, I feel like. We played ones that I think most people would consider to be, like, the good, but, like, not great. I mean, other than Cracked, I think Cracked is just straight up bad. But when I think of, like, the classic, the best of the best from this game, I think of Firing Range, Summit, Nuketown. Called in that UAV at a terrible time. I just love how this game plays. I do think the time to kill... It's, it's weird, because the time to kill is statistically actually pretty, like, fast in this game. But it feels a little slower. Simply because the hit detection isn't very good in this game. You guys didn't know that. Another one? Give me that gun. That's what I call being a beast, bro. Holy shit. Toss a nade out there. It's gotta kill somebody, right? Let's go. Guess he was in that corner over there. That's weird. A lot of crappy guns around here. I don't really have much ammo. Yeah, I ran out right in the open there. That was a terrible idea. Let's call another one of these. I'm just pissed that we have a lobby with a guy who likes to use launchers. Because now we're getting dicked because of that. He doesn't seem to have a shot of me right now, though. Let me get this guy. Nice. Get that guy, nice. Haha, ha, you missed, bitch.
Did I evade that? No, I didn't. Or maybe I, I, I don't think... Maybe the time only just ran out. I'm not sure. Oh, See, that's what I mean. I like that time to kill. It, it, it's not... If, I feel like the hit detection definitely made that time to kill feel a lot slower than it actually is. Because like I said, statistically, it's pretty fast. When you're not, you know, online, but like some of the shots, I guess, didn't hit me because of connection, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but it ends up making the game more fun for me because I like slower time to kills. I don't want to be killing enemies that quickly. I don't want enemies to be killing me that quickly either, but there's certain cases where they just will, just by the very nature of the game, obviously. Why do people place claymores like that? I do too, but <laughs> why do other people have to do it? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I wanted those kills, man. Nice little double kill right there. I could have gone. Third game in a row where we did pretty damn good. Got all our streaks. Actually got them twice this game and last game. Uh, cycled through them twice. So I guess we can use dogs again because we already used chopper and gunship now. So I don't have to use them again. We'll see. We'll see. Now we're starting to get to that point later when you're in the same lobby in like an older COD where everyone starts to just leave. And for some reason, the old COD's matchmaking does not allow for, like, people to join mid-game. So we might have to leave the lobby, because these, these games are getting a little smaller. But we're playing on Hazard here, which is a DLC map, so I was very surprised to get it. It's actually a remake of Cliffside from World of War, which not a lot of people know, because it obviously looks a lot different. I have a jammer here. I'm just going to place it for God knows what reason. And there's an enemy over here. He knows I'm here. Probably hiding, waiting for me to pop out so he can kill me. Or he doesn't know I'm here. Where the fuck did this guy go? There we go. We're gonna use the AUG here, which... Honestly... Probably not the best gun for this map, considering there's a lot of... Long ranges of sight. Probably gonna have someone come around here, yep. See, this is why I love Black Ops 1's maps, and really... Treyarch maps in general. I'm going to be fanboying for Treyarch really, really quickly right now. Their maps, mostly... Oh, thank you, long time to kill, or whatever. Probably bad hit detection, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I love how it, you can kind of predict spawns in a lot of the Treyarch maps, because they flow like well in a competitive manner. So if you know how the map works, and you know what the spawns are, and you know where people tend to go, you can predict where they are, and you can make inferences as to where you should be aiming your gun, where you should be heading to get kills, rather than it just being like a lot of other maps in COD where it's like, I'm just kind of going around just blindly looking for someone, and eventually I find someone, or... I gotta rely on UAVs and stuff. Like, you know, I gotta rely on a lot of things. Gotta rely on hearing footsteps. Oh my god, stop. Stop, no, 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 I go stuck in a corner. Shit. Um, but you gotta rely on like UAVs and stuff like that and just like footsteps. I feel like in the track maps, I never have to rely on any of that stuff to know where people are. The estate helps a lot, of course, but like I can kind of just be like, oh, someone's probably coming down this lane right now because the, the, a lot of them have that three lane design as well. And some people don't like that predictability. They want them the game to be a little more random, but I don't like randomness too much. I think randomness is fun in certain aspects, in certain modes, but I don't really feel like that works well when you're trying to have a comp like a, a shooter that's... It's not a competitive shooter necessarily. It's very casual in a lot of aspects, but there is a certain level of competitiveness that COD has and it always has had regardless of if you consider it a casual shooter or not. I mean, the game is whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be a casual shooter, it's a casual shooter. If you want it to be a competitive shooter, it's a competitive shooter. Look at this gorgeous gold camo right here, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's just enjoy the scenery, though. Like, this is definitely a map I'd love to see come back. Look how colorful this is. Like, it's just got nice color to it. And this is Black Ops 1. This was in 2010. So, like, the game's definitely got, I'd say, better with color as the series went on other than like modern warfare 2019 but I, I like having color it doesn't have to be futuristic and childish 
to have color. Like, this isn't childish. This obviously isn't futuristic. And look how great this looks. You know what I mean? It's vibrant. It makes you want to look around the scenery. I don't really want to look around an area that's just rubbly with buildings falling down and stuff. There's nothing interesting about locations like that, but a location like this, I dig it, you know? What is that guy doing? Why'd I do that? Did not mean to accidentally throw that. And why'd I call that in too? Now they know where my enemies are. The ones I want to kill. I mean, even with only having two guys in the other team, we managed to get a chopper gunner, which is kind of funny. I feel like these guys will probably just leave the lobby at that point. They probably haven't left yet, maybe for the simple fact that they want the free kills. Not free kills, but there's just more kills available to them. Alright, well game's about to end. 24 and 6, not as good, but also we had only two guys on the other team to kill, so I mean, it makes sense. I was very surprised to see us get Stockpile, which is a map, again, I've not played, I don't think, in like at least a good 8 years, so I'm surprised to say the least i was expecting to get firing range nuketown and stuff like that which are great maps don't get me wrong but i'm also partially kind of excited to play maps like this that i haven't played in a while whoa why are these guys camping in here doesn't matter because i took them out nice and easy this map was interesting it had these little open door things which i mean i guess is our one of our first bits of like map I don't know. Interesting map things that you can mess with. A lot of guys that seem to want to come through this door, so you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Did that guy just get taken out by that <laughs> I saw that door like close right on him. That's funny. Oh This Khalil is massively good, man. The thing is I do not know. Where the fuck to go on this map? I've like played this map like, again, not a lot of times, a long time ago. Uh, I think I see where everyone's hanging out. Let's toss a good old grenade in there. Nice. Nice. We got dogs. I'm scared. My dogs saved me? I don't think they got a single kill, actually. Never mind. I do wish this game had a nuke. Oh, thank you for the smoke. I think that was the enemies who threw the smoke, but it helped me out. <laughs> Let me sneak right into their spawn. Holy shit. We're 21 and 0 right now. <laughs> oh, man, I'm loving this game today. Which further proves my point that you enjoy Call of Duty a lot more when you're doing really good. It's just what happens, man. I really don't want to use the FAMAS, but I need ammo, so. We're on at least, we're on a 26 kill streak, but there's nothing I'm working towards because <laughs> this game doesn't have a nuke, damn it. <laughs> at least if it had medals or something either, like medals are better than nothing at least. But there's just nothing, man. I feel like I'm wasting my time. I'm just gonna use this. Game's gonna end soon, so I might as well. Might as well. I didn't even get to use my VSAT either. I, oh, it didn't? No, I used it. I used it. I used it right away, right? Yeah. They're all gonna be inside, aren't they? This building looks pretty destroyed, so I feel like I could probably get a couple shots inside of there. 
a lot of windows and stuff. No? Whatever. Come on. Why do they hide inside? Like, how is that fun? For, like, the, they're not getting any kills. The, <laughs> the top guy's got five kills. Oh my god, that's so sad. I feel so bad for these poor souls. Let's use the end field. When the hell do, does anyone ever use the end field? Such a random gun. That's all I wanted was one kill with it. That felt good. I like getting kills with random guns that no one really uses. This is why... This is why this game is, is fantastic, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm also doing really good, so I'm clearly very biased right now, but... I'm having a good time. Apparently today's DLC map day because we got Hotel, which is a map that I don't like that much. Not because it isn't good, because it is very good. It's very well designed, but it's too big. It's too big for 6v6. It's got the same issue as Miami from Cold War, where Miami, I think, is a really good map, but it's just too big. So that's why Miami is really good in 12v12. It's just not good in the core modes, which I don't even see in the core modes anymore. So they might have removed it. I don't even know. But like this map... Imagine this map in 12v12 combined arms and cold war. That would be fucking amazing. I would love to see that happen. I would love to see that happen. We got the elevators and stuff like this would be so much fun on 12v12 because it is a it's a well-designed map. It's just too big. Like, look how big this thing is, man. It's huge. There's only four guys in the other team, so I'm probably not going to find a single enemy the whole game. I'm starting to get bored of this map. It's just too big. It's just too big. I really like it, but it's too big. M60. Yo, let me grab this. Oh, shit. Oh, this is satisfying to use. I love this gun. It's just so beefy. You, like, never have to reload with this thing. Haha, uh -huh, fuck you. <laughs> Where the hell send me a message? He's on the other team. I'll check it, fuck it. Why do you hack? Why do you hack, he says. Because I'm doing better than you? You think I'm hacking? I would say, like, reply with why do you suck, but... Xbox... Messages are really sensitive these days like back in the day you could say whatever you want it wouldn't matter But you say literally anything you'll you'll get banned you, you can't even like say like I think I use the word like I think I just used the word shit Something about like you're such a shitty player or whatever Years ago when I used to have those fun back and forth with guys when you're playing like you know search and destroy or whatever And I got banned for that and it was like a couple years ago So I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's even worse now you're even more likely to get banned just from little things. Mac 11 rapid fire. Let's try out this trash. I know it's garbage, but I want to use it because it's fun. You know what? It's getting the job done, I gotta say. Well, we had some fun at the end there, at least. <laughs> we joined into a game of late on Nuketown. I'm gonna try my best to join in and actually get some streaks. Cause you know me, I fucking love the shit out of Newtown. No, 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 no. Oh, come on with these grenades, man. I hate grenade spam, man. That's another thing about this game that definitely could use some work. Just give us pick 10. But again, it's it's the issue with the fact that the game's just older. So obviously, Pick 10 wasn't even like a thing that they thought of at this time, you know? I'd only make that a f actual negative of the game if Pick 10 was invented and then they went back and decided to not include it. In a new one, oh, you, I definitely knifed before you. What do you mean? I guess not. Let's go. Oh no. Get in the window. Got him. Um... 
No, no. Whatever. We got chopper gunner. That's all I really needed, to be honest. I think we also ran the gunship, though, so we could have got a chopper and a gunship back to back. Oh, the game's about to end anyways. Never mind. It's not a big deal. Oh, man. I love gunship or choppers on Nuketown, but someone's trying to shoot me down. Who? Who? Where? I'm not seeing him. Oh, is he way back here? You can never tell who's the enemy or not. That was a bad, that was a bad chopper, man. Seems as though we have more Nuketown, apparently, and it's a little bit of a bigger lobby, so it might be a little more fun. Why not do it? I'm just gonna rush, because, fuck it, it's literally Nuketown. This is the rushing map. This is exactly, you guys see how I'm playing right now? This is how I like to play Call of Duty. None of that camping shit. None of that. No, I like to rush like this. See what I'm doing right now? This is gonna be a little scary, though, because there's a guy right there. Oh my god. Oh, this is getting crazy. I mean, it's Nuketown, so what do you expect? I have no idea what just happened there. Kind of afraid for Claymores. Seems as though we'll be alright. Oh, damn it. Oh, you're a prick. You're an absolute prick. <laughs> I swear, I feel like everyone just camps. It makes no sense to me. I mean, people who complain about the newest game for camping need to, like, just go back to an old COD and realize that every game has that. That's just how Call of Duty players like to play. The ones that have the least amount of it are probably the advanced movement games, to be honest, so... Goes to show that we need another advanced movement game, for sure. Reload, reload, reload. Oh. My god, I hate knifing. I hate panic knifing. I love... How Black Ops 3 removed that. And we haven't had it since. It's so nice. We've taken the lead. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Watch this. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Did you see those? I was tearing up there. Absolutely tearing up. We're 14 and 0 right now. Oh my god. No! Oh my god, that would have been a nice quad, bro. That would have been a sick quad. That would have been such a nice quad. That is so sad. That is the most depressing thing. Go pick up a gun or something. <laughs> that would have been the. the it's the best quad ever, man. We got a hind now. Now, as long as they're not using grenade launchers, or not rocket, uh, rocket launchers, we should be alright. Oh, they're using it. Oh my god. Hmm. 
I mean, how many of these have I earned today, man? Call this in now. Oh, someone killed me. I mean, chopper gunner's not available. All right. That seemed to be a perfect game to end it on because that was a really fun game. We didn't get to play some of the more classic maps like Firing Range, Summit, whatever, but we see those maps all the time. We play them all the time. We'll probably play them in Black Ops 2 or 4 anyways, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, I had a great time. We were doing really good. I mean, that was definitely some of our best performances we've ever had in this revisiting series so far. So that was great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.